So today we are going over an app that I've been using for about five years. And if you're on the fence about getting a, uh, a watch, if you're on the fence about getting a rangefinder, you're gonna wanna stay till the end because I think that this app is something that could totally replace those and actually give you something that rangefinders and watches can't do. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Matt from That Golf Couple. Today I will be reviewing the Golf Shot app on the iPhone. So I wanted to go in and show you guys how I use this. Now I wanna give you a bit of context just so you have an idea. I've been playing golf for about 15 years now. In 2015 and 16, I played professionally. I've used this and I just wanna let you know I've tried the range finders. I've tried a range finder that's $300. I've tried range finders that are $100. I've tried the watches. And this app does things for me that I have not seen anyone to be able to do. There's a free version, and there's also a paid version, which I use. Um, it's a $50 lifetime membership. Would totally recommend it. I'm not being paid to say that or anything. This is something I sincerely use, and I think it can be a benefit for you guys, and it's on your phone. It's not some extra piece of equipment. Everyone's always got their phone on them, so super convenient, super easy. Give it a check. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So when I go into the app here, it has the last round that I played at Diamondback Golf Club in Laura, South Carolina. A ton of fun to go play there. And I promise that your home course is on this. I've never been to a course that it doesn't have. It has over 40,000 golf courses in the software. So it's going to have your course. Um, one of the best things, I'll go to resume round here is you can see some of the holes that we played and I tracked all the stats for it. You can see, let me go to a par five, so then you can see like a long hole. On the left here is gonna be numbers, what it is to the green center, and you're gonna see where the water is, and it's gonna give you some general numbers. Now I can go ahead and move my thumb around here too to see how far certain things are. And I can move that around, I can zoom in here, kind of get a lay of the land, and What's great about this, and this is a perfect example, this was our first time playing this golf course. I had no idea on this specific hole where this water was. You couldn't see it from the fairway. I'm sure you've played courses before where at the end of the round you look back and say, oh, if I only knew this about that course, then I would have shot better. This gives you the aerial view, and it's an absolutely incredible caddy in your pocket to be able to know what's over the hill, what to aim for, when to lay up, when to go for it, and so on and so forth. And so you can zoom in and you can move around and it's going to give you, when you start tracking your your irons, it'll say, okay, if I hit it here, I'm going to have a six iron in, here's going to be an eight, um, and, and so on. I clearly missed a couple clubs in here because I kind of have, I'm in tune with my distances. I'm not a uh, like a neat freak when it comes to having everything in line. I know what I hit and I use it for what I use it for. But you can always go down here to track. When you hit your drive, say you hit your drive and you hit track, then you go all the way up to your ball and then you hit click the at my ball button and it's gonna track what club you hit. You just put in whether it was a driver, or a three wood, a four iron and so on and so forth. And it's gonna start giving you some yardages on how far you hit everything. So if you're looking to discover how far you hit clubs, this is gonna be an easy way to see, okay, um, this is how far I hit my driver with all the rollout and whatnot. So I think it's a great way if, if you're wanting to learn that, uh, to do that. So one thing I want to cover now, if I remember correctly, on the ninth hole. So this is a perfect example. This is something that you're not going to see that's going to be a challenge when you have just a range finder. Say you have a front pin here on the ninth hole, and it's right here over the bunker. Well, you might have 140 yards to the flag stick, but you can't really quite see this bunker here. Now, sometimes you just need to know what it is to carry to the front hole location. So when I have a range finder, I'm not able to specifically grab the yardage, like how much is in between the carry of the bunker and the flag stick. And I can get a precise yardage just about to the yard here. And the reason I don't use a range finder is because I'm going to be within three or four yards every single time when I'm using this. I'm not going to be that much farther off. So 
I could use a rangefinder if I'm in a tournament to get a specific yardage because sometimes it's a big difference for players if it's 145 or 148 or 150 yards. So I can appreciate that. That option's available for you. I've used this in tournaments as well. It's tournament legal. I'm always ask though because some tours have, have different rules. Some tournaments have different rules. So always verify. But it's a wonderful feature to the app to be able to move this around and know what's around there and, and should I go for it. So I think that's a, that's a wonderful, wonderful application. Um, another thing about this is the statistics. Now as you go, say, let me demonstrate this first. If I go to resume round and I go to score, so I can put whatever I got on the, the hole. So say I got a par, I had two putts, I hit my driver off the tee, and these are all clubs that you can edit for whatever clubs that you have in the bag. I have a basically like a two wood and a four wood, so um, I put those in there. Um, then you can say, did, did I go long up the fairway? Did I hit the fairway left, right? And if you hit it in the sand, and if you had a penalty, a penalty as well. So. That's, that's right there, and it's going to give you your statistics. Then you can go right to the next hole. So from there, we can go to, let's back out of here. And I want to show you guys something really cool. So your statistics. Everybody's curious about like how many fairways they hit or how many greens they hit. And what this reveals to me, the, the way that I've utilized this, is to identify my areas of improvement. I see that I don't hit a lot of greens. My short game is is pretty good when it comes to being around the green. Now I don't track everything, so don't judge me on the numbers here. But I know that when I get close to the green, I can usually, <clears throat> excuse me, get up and down pretty frequently. But I do miss a lot of greens, and is that systemic of missing fairways? So you have all of those statistics in front of you. You can see your putting average. You can see your scoring average on pars threes, fours, and fives. And then you can go through uh, and look at your clubs and how far you hit all of your clubs. Now, I didn't put all of my yardages in, like I said before, but this is something that you can go through and identify, okay, this is how far that I hit these clubs. And these are the clubs that I have, by the way. I use score wedges, I've got Mizuno MP59 irons, I've got Tour Edge Exotic Woods and an M2 driver. So. They're gonna have yours. You can go to your last 20, your last five. And so for all of you that use golf now as well, you can actually search and do tee times as well. So we're early in the season, um, but I think if I went to Friday that we could find a couple tee times. Perfect, Richter Park is open. Somers Point is open. So you can actually book tee times in here as well. You can utilize that as well. I just want you guys to know like the features of the app. So. That pretty much sums it up for this app. Let me know what you guys think of it. Like I said, I've been using it for about five or six years now, and it's absolutely replaced my rangefinder. I keep it in my pocket, and it gives me all the yardages that I need. It's extraordinary for going to a new course. I would definitely recommend bringing it to a new course. It's gonna be able to give you specific yardages and help you improve your game faster. So, thanks for watching the video. If you want to improve your game, we're gonna be coming out with a ton of videos. The season's about to open up, and we just wanna make sure that we deliver that for you guys. So check out the rest of the channel, leave a comment down below on how we can help you guys improve your game and enjoy it more, and we will see you guys later. Thanks so much. On the iPhone, I'm sure it's on uh, the other one as well. Not that that matters because iPhone's the best.